Hello! In today's tutorial, we will cover the basics of Replicant and its interface. Replicant is a powerful tool that allows you to quickly create characters, scenes, and stories. When Replicant opens, you will have a few different modes to choose from. Easy Story Mode, Easy Streaming Mode, Recent Projects, and New Project. Let's start with Easy Story Mode. Once you have it selected, you can pick an environment to start with. Now let's talk about how to navigate the viewport. Right-click to orbit, scroll wheel to zoom, and hold the middle mouse button to pan. If you hold down the right mouse button, you could use WASD to move backwards, forwards, right, and left. And use Q and E for up and down. Double-click on an object in the viewport to focus. You can hold right-click to orbit around the selected object. You can use these buttons to quickly view your characters from different camera angles. You can adjust elements of your scene using the tabs at the bottom of the screen. Actor is where you can customize your character. You can use a preset, or you can customize your character using a variety of settings. Scene is where you can change your environment. Stage is where you can select how many different actors are in the scene and whether they are sitting or standing. Script is where you can write your own script. You can assign character, camera angles, and emotions to each line of dialogue. Click Create when you are satisfied, and then go to the Preview tab to view it. Hi. Hi! We will go over all of these tabs in more detail in other videos. Hi. Hi! You can either render or click Exit to enter the full Replicant interface. Here, you can further edit your scene. There are more features available than in the easy story mode. For example, in scene, now you can add and remove specific meshes instead of replacing an entire environment. You could also change the materials on any meshes. Under lighting, you can adjust the lighting and visual effects in your scene. You can broadcast and record motion capture data in the mocap tab and you also have the option to use animations from Replicant's library in the Animation tab. We will go over all of these tabs in more detail in future videos. When working at Replicant, it can be useful to have the FPS shown on your HUD in order to monitor how your scene is affecting your computer's performance. To turn the FPS of the HUD, go to Windows, Preferences, Show FPS. If your FPS is struggling, you can always adjust your render quality options bringing them down while you work, and then back up when it is time to render. You could also use the bunny button to toggle your grooms on and off. You can select an object and then click F to focus on it. When modifying an object, use a spacebar to rotate between Translate, Rotate, and Scale. You could also adjust the pivot of different meshes. You can click on this button to show or hide gizmos. You can even choose the specific types of gizmos you want to show or hide. You can click here to go to streaming mode. This has a prop tab to add props, a mocap tab to set up your mocap, and a streaming tab to get your replicant data to your streaming software. And that's it for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.